So when you are uh, going to simulate a model in uh, Verilog, one of the things that I suggest that you do ahead of time is you draw out on paper the, the model that you're looking to, to work on, in this case, a, um, an adder, and you illustrate where all the signals are at the beginning, at the end, the inputs and outputs, as well as the, the, the wires in between the different components. This is a really important exercise to plan out what you think the circuit is about. Now, just having it on paper doesn't actually represent the behavior of the, of the circuit. And so when you go to write the, um, the Verilog code to simulate it, because you might not have a lot of experience with it, or, or you might have a lot of experience anyway, but it's really hard to, to in your head, merge the idea of what's th what those words are with what the actual behavior of the circuit should be. And so sometimes it's good to take that step back and to try out the behavior of the circuit or to, to understand the behavior of the circuit with another tool. And one of those tools is called Simulink. And uh, Simulink is built into MATLAB. If you go into the command prompt, uh, in MATLAB and you type Simulink, hit enter, it will load up. And um, and then you'll be faced with this page right here. What you do is you say blank model, it will initialize basically a blank page, and then you open up the library window that goes along with it. There are thousands, I think, of components in there, at least hundreds of them. There's lots and lots of components. And so we'll use the search tool to find uh, some of the gates that we want to look at, like the exclusive OR gate, and then we'll create this circuit from it. Okay. So currently we're setting up the blank model. Here is the blank model right here. I'm going to open up the library browser. So I've clicked on it. Simulink is a big program, and so it can be a little daunting um, to make it work but you'll see that it's not so bad. All right, so there's my uh, blank window. Here is my library browser. I go into the search bar at the top and I type in exclusive or, X or like that. I hit enter or search and it found it right here. So here's my exclusive or. It's found in some sub menu that I don't know somewhere in there, okay? It's actually really hard to find sometimes with these sub menus. So I drag it into Let's try that again. I drag it into my uh, the Simulink window. One more time. Oh, there we go. It's in. All right. So it's now in my uh, in my model. And uh, so what I need to do now is add some more blocks. So I've got my exclusive OR there. I'm going to have another one. I'm going to have an AND, an OR, and another AND. So I could go searching for them in the, the uh, library, but in a lot of ways, it's just easier to right click on it and to uh, copy and to control V or command V and paste onto the, um, the library window. So I'm gonna lay it out just like you see right here. And I'm gonna modify each of these exclusive ORs to be like the other gates. So I'm just gonna lay it out first, and then you'll see what I'm doing in a sec. Like that, and I need one more. I need it right there. Now I'm gonna change this one to be an ant. So I right click on it. Um, where is it? Oh, there we go. I double click on it, not right click. I double click. I make that an AND right there. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to rename it AND1. This one is also an AND, so no, I don't double click. I, sorry, I do double click. I don't right click. I make that an AND. AND2, so it's gate AND2. This one is already an exclusive OR and it's already been named as XOR2. And this one should be an OR, not an exclusive OR. And I rename that as OR. All right, so I got that. Now I need inputs. So I go to commonly used blocks, constant, like this. 
and I'm going to name this constant A. I'm going to copy it out. This is going to be B. Like that. I need another one over there. This one is going to be C. Like that. Uh, and then I need uh, Z and C out. So that is going to be a scope. Like that. Or, you know what? Actually, better than a scope would be a display, a numeric display. Oh, I can't find it there. So we're going to go to sinks right there. Display. So this will be for Z. Display Z. And I'm going to put another display here. And this is going to be the display for C out. Display C out. All right. So I link that there. So these are my input or my output. Sorry. I'm going to label this one. This is going to be Z. And that's going to be C out. So I'm labeling it like I did in my illustration. That's my input right there. Uh, that's another input right there. So let's join A with that. We're going to put B to there. So I'm just dragging my connections in. So A goes and connects there. B connects like that. That's A. That's B. So I just double click on the on the wires to, to be able to label them. This one here is X or one out. X or one out like that. This one is going to be and one out. This connection right here goes to the X or out. And just to double check that I, I know which one it is, I can actually double click on an extra line right here and it will label it as well. C comes down like this. I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to call that C. And then, oh no, X and or doesn't go, no, that doesn't go there. I made a mistake. This goes here. There we are. Excellent. And it just um, relabels it. This one is C. There we go. So that's connected now. And then my and one out goes here. And one out. Uh, and two out, sorry. That's and two out. Like that. Okay, so I've labeled everything. I've got everything connected up in here. Um, yeah, I think I think we're, we're good to go. So I can save it. And uh, so um, save... Just save it right there. Oop. Uh, cancel. Let's call it uh, lab I part, I don't know, seven, like that. Run. Okay, so what we see here is that one, one, and one outputs into the displays, these two displays right here, for the Z and C out signals to be one and one. If I change that value to a zero, and that to be a zero and run again. Then what I end up getting is a, dis, uh, a Z value of one and a, a C out value of zero. So you can test out if you're uncertain or if you want to verify, you can, ver you can test out the behavior of your circuit and compare this to what you do in Verilog. All right, so that's a quick little intro to circuits inside of Simulink. Mm -hmm.